So, Margot Martindale, Chris Cooper, both wonderful in the new movie, August, Osage County. Thank you very Thanks. much. Thank so, you. let's start by talking about just each of you briefly about your character, <laughs> Maggie Faye, right? Maddie Faye. Maddie Faye, okay, and Charles. Did you relate to those characters, or do you know someone like them that you sort of drew on for inspiration? I, you know, I, Maddie Faye for me is a very, is a very different person from me. I know maybe he'll disagree, but uh, it's uh, she, <laughs> she, she's very. Yeah. Uh, there's a similarity, of course, but no. I mean, not introspective at all, and and speaks exactly what she thinks. And absolutely feels like everything she says is right. I'm not like that. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Chris? Well, uh, am I like that? Yeah, yeah. I think I think in my among amongst my family, I'm I'm kind of the uh, I like to be the mediator because uh, my older brother and and my mother could could really go at it, go at each other, and um, I think they enjoyed it, I, but I'd try to settle, I would try and settle things down, so I could relate to Uncle Charlie, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you'd worked with John Wells before, but you had not, right, Margo? Mm -hmm. So no. what's, what's he like as a director? Well, I think he's, he, he's one of the kindest men in the business. And uh, and uh, had a terrific experience working with him a couple of years previous in Company Men w in town where I live in Boston. And uh, thank goodness we I had worked with him before that because I I hope and pray that led led to his casting me in uh, in August Osage County. He he also it, uh, I thought gave us. Uh, allowed an environment for us to be in that just fed the movie, fed our relationships. He Every Sunday night he would have a dinner for us. Every single Sunday night we were there so that we could all be together to eat because in Bartlesville, Oklahoma, many of the establishments were closed on Sunday night. So he would keep one of the restaurants open, make sure one of the restaurants w was open, and we'd all get together every Sunday night. It was a real plus to yeah. to be able to to um, hang out together because I don't know if folks are aware that's that's not often the case you know even though you're working together on set uh, this was a this real unusual, real plus real, real plus. unusual well and I've heard stories about the potlucks also at uh, Merrill's uh, condo you all were in a condo complex right mm -hmm. or, at townhouses yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so I mean uh, I was going to ask what was it like on this on this set with all these powerhouse actors and, and also a, a female dominated set set a little bit. Hey, but it I'm sounds all, like I'm all for it and I don't know why they are in in more. I mean these are hugely talented women and uh, what all I can say is the way I'm thinking just women don't get women don't get scripts like this. They don't get lines like this and um, Gosh, I, I I could sure look at a lot more, you know, if 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 they came around. Uh, it was a, I mean, it's just a, a gift. Honestly, it was certainly a, a, to be around, and nobody felt like they were bigger and better than anybody else. That's a very weird and thing. That's very you, know, true. you got huge talents. And I've worked with Meryl before, and I must say, the first time I worked with her for the first week, I was terribly intimidated. But she, she's such a great girl, and she calmed me down, you know, and, uh, and allowed me, um, just helped me do my best work, you know. Uh, and, and there are other names, you know, in this, Ewan and Julia and... They're all names. And, uh, <laughs> and Margo um, and Chris. <laughs> they were just delightful, delightful people to be with. Yeah. Was the combination of, of sort of a dark story but a very funny one uh, difficult? I mean, 
how did how did you as this, actors? You know, this? if you if you read the script, it's like the dialogue is is so wonder. It, the story is so wonderfully written. The script is so good, but it's it's that kind of dark. I don't call it drama. The dark human behavior that's it's it's cringeworthy and you kind of also you 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 often laugh at it it's it's so cringeworthy yeah. i love when people are really mean to each other it makes me laugh <laughs> 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 i can remember watching the first like i'd say three minutes of true west on stage at, good example it's very yeah. similar to when John Malkovich and Gary Sinise did that, it it Good made example. me laugh wildly because it was so sinister and mean. <laughs> but your character, in some ways, is sort of the kindest to Meryl's character, who's the meanest in a way. Well, I don't know that I can. I think I'm not not so kind. You do certainly not so kind to my sweet son. Right. Oh yeah, absolutely. But. Uh, I but, think we're sort of cut from the same cloth. But yeah. you see a great sweetness in their relationship as sisters. I think they just, you know, I think they just adore each other. You yeah. Know, at times. Really helped. Really helped. You know, each other survive. Yeah. The life that we grew up in. Yeah. And I know both of you know about movies for grown-ups, and your wonderful <laughs> examples of what AARP is all about, which is people who are, who are living and doing things regardless of age. And um, we believe that this trend in Hollywood of showcasing actors of any age is, is getting stronger. I wonder if you see that and how important do you think it is for Hollywood to keep making movies for grown-up well, audience? Well, for, for that to make an impression on me, there's got to be a whole lot more of it because... Um, I, I'm trying to look at what the studios are turning out, and um, I see a bunch. I still see a lot of green screen uh, blow 'em ups and and superheroes, and um, that's not what I got into the business for. You know, I got into it because I adored the writings of Edward Albee and Tennessee Williams and Arthur Miller and O'Neill and um, and that's this, what we got to do script, this script and that's what we got to do yeah. what a what a treat and it's rare yeah. it's rare it is rare i don't know i think that i mean i i feel for me i mean it's very i'm from television i've gotten to since i turned 60 um, do some really great parts, uh, and uh, I think that I see a lot more older women getting to be smart, tough, um, calculating movers. I think it's more than it was. Yeah. And as Chris says, always could be more. Absolutely. Well, we're going to keep working for well, that. With the turn of, you know, the, uh, the uh, oh, like, the Marigold Hotel and, yes. and, uh, and the, the... Quartet. Uh, the, uh, oh, well, Quartet. The well, quartet. quartet. Oh, those were great. Last Quartet. Those were fabulous. Well, we also have Nebraska this year. Oh, Nebraska, right. I can't wait to see it. The Alexander Payne, who I just love. Uh, and um, and the thing with Helen Helen Mirren and all those people that whole they did two of those they did right reds and red yes yes reds, reds and, and reds, reds too yeah. right yeah. so I mean, that's what I'm talking about yeah. yeah little by little little by little right well thank thank you guys for being part of movies for grown-ups and for being here and bringing your great movie thank you thank you.